How you doing folks? Big mission today, a big journey. Fence behind us, more fence, more fence. We're here in Lama, 2024, in Birmingham in the UK. Uh, we left house last night, we're gonna give a bit of a video, hopefully it'll be one, maybe it'll be two, maybe it'll be three, who knows, we're gonna give a look at the fence. Um, there's a heap of stuff. My next door neighbor um, is here as well, Joseph Mindham. So we're gonna give a look at all his stuff. We're gonna turn the camera now and we're going to get cracking and um, there is an unbelievable amount of stuff here like Malone have the camera's gone sideways uh, Malone have a, with my head into it my head is big enough Malone have a massive selection of stuff Mikhail's have a massive selection of stuff it is just unbelievable what's here um, I was never here before first time for everything so we're gonna um, that's it, we're going to turn the camera and we're going to give a quick walk through the place and uh, we'll go from there and look, they gave me a, a press pass. Alright guys, here we are, we have a big fin, and what she is, there's, a, there's a, a wagon in this thing and my Osmo's kind of half screwed at the moment. Um, she is a 936, I don't know, anyone in the fint world can be, can be telling me what hospital she is, it is just... It is just frightening, the horsepower, the size of it. We have a Fint um, self-propelled, never saw one before, with a crimper um, silage header. Have seen the crimper silage maze header, have never seen a crimper um, silage header. Um, also, we have another Fint over, a 724, and we have the baby Fint, a 314 Vario. Alright guys, here we have the Fint moors, we have Fint tethers, and we have a Fint on tracks, a 943 uh, Vario on tracks. I think this one was introduced to the UK last year for the first time ever, shown here. And then we have, down further, we have the gold coloured Fint. What's that about? Um, 50 UK, 50 years in the UK, 1974 to 2024. Absolutely fantastic. Some serious sprayers here as well, and that's only a small one. There is some fantastic gear here. Gear that we're never, ever, ever going to see over in Ireland. And also here we have my own next door neighbor. He's busy talking. Joseph Moynihan from Derrymore. He does the GM Agri design. There, bale handlers. Um, one, two, three, two bale handlers, double bale handlers, a load of attachments, the whole lot. You can see some of it there on the pictures. GM Agri design. Another fint, guys, a fint sprayer. And look at this yoke, this is just impressive. A Fint. Camera dropped. A Fint combine on tracks. This is impressive stuff, lads. I know there's probably a few fellas in Ireland saying, yeah, we have them, but we don't. We don't have anything like this. Like, you to step back from this, like, what's the length of that header? That must be the best part of 40 feet and that's not even the full weight of it like and then we have another thing over here I suppose kind of an American design Mac Dunn the harvesting specialist these are kind of a, really an American thing um, I think what they call them in America is they call them swarters um, she cut the full length of a full weight of that and she just swarted it all in one go um, I know there is a few of them sold in the UK, I don't think there's any of them sold really in Ireland, but um, they're, they're starting to catch on, they're, they're, I suppose, look what she's swarting, she's swarting 25, 30 feet, um, that's it, swarting it, and they're using them in America, they're, I suppose, probably, are they cheaper, are they cheaper than the conventional, we'll say a butterfly mower, are they kind of cheaper than a double mower and a tractor, you tell me. It's there for you. Um, what is it? Mac Don, the harvesting specialist. Um, triple reel, 13.7 meters wide, which is 45 foot. 
and then they have another one 15.2 meters wide which is 50 foot so lads there you go is that cheaper than a set of, a set of triples and of course we have goal I have a thing about goal I like goal goal is um, I think they're a Norwegian company um, of course goal also have their own setup as well but of course goal also have the baler that or the wrapper without the baler we call it and you can actually fit your own baler into the into the machine you can actually put we say a welder or a John Deere baler into the goal into the goal setup um, and the goal frame they're telling me will outwear um, the welder and a couple of more of them like that so might be an option for you I think um, I'm not too sure Cooney Furlong in Wexford and Waterford in Ireland are the main dealers um, of course here we have Malone we've had a bit of history with Malone here um, Malone are uh, I think Mayo company that's um, Fergal below he's flat out talking to some fella so we live from Malone uh, Malone have the full setup now as well they have all the different moors and they have the front moors and everything he, they, he kind of left into it that they're looking into setting up um, butterfly moors maybe for next year so maybe if you're looking into buying a set of butterfly moors who knows Malone might be the people to talk to and they also have this thing. I was looking at one of these as well recently. It's a 50-foot tether. I think it's 50-foot, you told me. Um, she folds up there very, very neatly all together. I've never seen one of them in action, but I've seen... Um, I was looking at this one there a while ago. It is just a fantastic looking machine, and I can tell you it folds up very, very neat. It's um, Malone's absolutely new, new product. It's their new product on the market this year. Of course, guys, another Mayo company, um, McHale's. My Osmo's on the blink, lads. Another Mayo company, McHale's. Um, McHale Rake. The, the standard McHale baler, the McHale bale handler. The whole lot. McHale have, from what I can see so far, McHale probably have the biggest stand here at Lama 2024 I like that um, give a like give a subscribe to my channel and we'll keep doing what we're doing um, I'll tell you one thing McCain has some amount of representatives here uh, I was looking at one of their balers there the other night on on television and you see there are the knives inside you probably can't really see them now for chopping the bales and they've actually throw away the Osmo I think it actually um, what happens is they'll, they'll chop your bale and then when your bale is fully chopped the knives will will come out themselves and we'll say the last maybe two or three wraps of grass around the bale aren't um, aren't chopped at all so it keeps your bale kind of in one piece when you go to um, when you go to unwrap it or whatever Too. there's some amount of gear here this is a, a product I never saw by McHale's before um, a McHale high speed 998 for wrapping square bales of silage never saw this before by him interesting those little wrapped bales of hay too or haylage whatever you want it to wrap it'll wrap it for you I'm fairly certain of course McHale's again another fantastic Irish company that's another we York for wrapping the square bales here The ordinary, we call it the ordinary wrapper, the McKay 991 high speed, the 991 BER, whatever the difference is in that. 
Michael, of course, also have the widescreen television. They have the they have a couple of different selections of grass tethers. What I can see so far is Michael definitely has the biggest the biggest stand at Lama 2023 or 2024 rather. They're inside here in Hall 10. I was looking at the moors here as well. You can see them there in the background. Look at the way they fold up. Look at the way they fold up. So absolutely neat and absolutely perfect. Uh, taking up very, very little space inside in your shed. Again, walk through McHale's. There's some selection of stuff here, lads. There's Valtras, there's bail handlers, there's there's literally everything. Butterfly mowers on demonstration. Show how the, the front mower pivots. Malone again. Actually the Malone post driver. And over on the far side there's a Malone log splitter, which I have one and um, I just I couldn't praise it enough. I just absolutely could not praise it enough. And of course the Malone front mower. Malone again, massive selection of products here at Lama. Oh, yeah. That's my Malone log splitter over there in the corner. Just a bulletproof piece of kit. Just absolutely bulletproof. They are just, there's nothing to them, but they're, like a man says, it does what it says on the tin. And inside it, you have the Malone grass tether. Gold again. Oh, I love that color Valtra. That's a fantastic looking Valtra. With a forestry crane on it. Nice blue Valtra. If I was to get a Valtra, I'd go for the the other, the older type. The other one, the what I call it, the the what I call it, probably the early zero zeros. That kind of type Valtra. Those tires, I actually never saw this when I was around here. The Valtra have the the vintage Valtra, what year is it? The Valmer 20, Valmer 20, 1955 to 63. Beautiful looking tractor. And we have the Fint uh, teleporter, we'll say, with the cab lift in it. Another Fint 211 Vario. Nice small, it'll probably kind of more of an orchard tractor. And we have the 50 years of Fint tractor. Like there's sprayers here. There's everything. There's small sprayers. There's John Deere gators. There's everything. We just wandered on to the Major stand here. Major, of course, again, another fantastic Irish company. Um, making all slurry and slurry products with years. Dribble bars, um, trading shoes. Um, Major do a fantastic, absolutely fantastic tanker. You can see it there in the background. Um, don't ask me price, don't ask me money. Like there is something here for everyone. I caught this orange trailer, caught my eye in the distance. I was wandering over towards this. Um, when I saw it, don't even ask me what it's for. She's an ejector floor. Oh, I suppose she's for spuds, maybe is she? You know, for you pick the spuds or you pick whatever and you're able to load it out onto a higher trailer in the field. Hi right, guys, Abbey of course, another Irish company since 1947. That's a massive tank, what is she? I don't know what she is, but she's a big tanker. She has all the attachments and everything in the front of it. She has the pipe, she has the whole lot. Absolutely fantastic. I don't know what size she is. There's no size on it. Can you see me driving this, lad? 
Look at this for a setup. It's 8280. I'm going to turn the camera now. It's up on you looking at me. What a selection of dates. Dates are an absolutely beautiful tractor. Of course, first cousin of Lamborghini, first cousin of Hurleyman, first cousin of Sammy. All there. Dates 6230 TTV Warrior. What a tractor. What a setup. I love this yoke here. I was looking to there a while ago. Small little dice, is she a 30, 20 or something? I can't remember now, I was actually just looking at it literally five minutes ago. A 30, 50, dice far. Of course, dice was dice the tractors and far was the the combines. I can't exactly remember now, to be honest. Lord already. Of course, the dice dealer in Kerry, as far as I know, is... Doherty's in Belly McElligot. And this is only just a selection of what is here. If you can, next September, September 2024, book your tickets for this place. So out of Dublin, there's a flight at 20 to 7 in the morning and into, into um, Birmingham Airport. Alright guys, for those of you the big fellas, this is, I suppose we call it a diet feeder, some kind of a feeder. Um, you pull down the silage with that arm, above and top, and then you drive into the pit with this, and it feeds it back up here, back into the tub behind, and way behind the corner there's, you can put it out the back right, or you can put it out the back left, and there's a place on it as well, where you can put in an additive. Um, like, look at some of this stuff, 